Hi Aries, today I'm going to do a collective reading for you. So just remember this is a Aries collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, I don't think I did. It's actually the 4th, I think. 2nd, 3rd, 4th of August, 2024. Aries, Aries, messages for Aries, please, spirits, justice. That card has been coming out to me all morning. Justice, Libra energy, the scales being balanced. A new beginning is starting in your life. Something that is going to bring you into a new world. Something solid, stable. You've got the devil. Something's trying to stop you moving into a new world. The devil, Capricorn energy. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. So there's something about focus on money or the material world. Something that leaves you stable. It could be focus on family, on your home. You've got the King of Wands. Center of your reading today, Aries. Then you have the Two of Wands. Making a decision. Choosing a path. The Knight of Wands. A lot of fire. This is a fire reading. Judgment, Scorpio energy. And the Knight of Pentacles. On the back of the deck, you have the Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. I'll just look at the cards, Aries. It doesn't look too bad. It's pretty good. Let's get into it for you. I'll grab out some clarifiers, but the scales are going to be balanced. The start of the reading. That is a good start to the reading. What is justice for Aries? So you have the Fool. That's a good start to the reading. Two cards, zero. The first card of the tarot deck. Your energy. Then you've got the Ten of Chalices. Okay, so the scales are being balanced. You're taking a leap of faith of giving to the right people, the right things. As I said, could be family, loved ones, a relationship. But you're taking a leap of faith into... Um, something that's equal in your life, okay? Something that is, like, I feel like family, like, so you could be focused on your unconditionals. What's the Ace of Pentacles? You've got the Ace of Swords. So there's this new start, okay? There's this new start. You're wiping the slate clean. You know, you're very focused on stability, and the Nine of Swords. Um, you could be worried about starting this new beginning, okay? Leaving a situation that you could have been in a relationship with somebody, could have children with them. You, but you, I feel like you're worried about walking away, walking away from something, Aries. But this is something that leaves you stuck. You've got the devil coming out. What's the devil? The queen of pentacles. So it could have been something you were giving to. It could be a family member you were giving to. It could be a job. It could be something you give your money to. And then you've got the ace of pentacles. So there is this... Whatever you're giving to, okay, you started something with somebody. You could have been giving money to this, as I said. Whatever this is, this is something that leaves you stuck. This, this beginning that you started with this person about giving, giving to, okay? This could be this thing that um, I feel like holds you back from starting this new beginning in your life, this holding on to this energy of 
something or somebody you were trying to give to in the past, you tried to start a new beginning with. What is the Queen of Pentacles for Aries? You have the Queen of Chalices, so water energy. Someone that's giving to herself, okay? I feel like you are the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you are now looking at the situation differently. You do look back at those memories um, that I feel leave you stuck, but you see that now, and I see that um, you're giving to yourself and you could be giving a lot um, to family or something in the material world, um, your career. I feel like you're holding back your love there now, though, and you are moving forwards and giving... You can see that you're giving to the right things, okay? Family is really coming out. Children. What's the King of Wands for Aries? So King of Wands, that's your energy, Aries. You've got the Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands. So this could be someone that you were married to with the Four of Wands coming out. This could be a soulmate. This could be an ex. You've got the Queen of Swords. Um, doesn't have to be an ex, could be someone that has earth in their chart, they don't actually have to be feminine too, because you've got the king, but then you've also got the queen. So this person's very attractive to you, they're very attracted to you, they're feeling imprisoned in their mind, this could be, as I said, a someone that you are in a relationship with, it could be a family member, it's someone that doesn't show emotion. It's someone that has firm boundaries. Someone that there could be a lot of sexual energy with. Uh, this person is someone that is a bit of a devil. So they, they like to get up to bad things, I feel, in their life. What's the two of wands? But this person is in the center of your reading today, Aries. This person is thinking about you, they're wanting to come forwards, they want success with you, this king of wands. So what's the two of wands? Sorry, that's my next door neighbors. You've got the page of wands and the nine of chalices. So there is a younger energy that's coming forwards towards you. I feel like it could be this king of wands, someone that's making a decision, someone that could be focused on a wish fulfillment in their life, uh, family, but it's not living up to a standard. They're making a decision because they do want to come forwards with a message, okay? With this page of wands, they could be a younger energy. They don't have to. They could have fire in their chart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, they don't have to either. But there's some type of message I feel that's coming towards you from this person. They're making a decision to to come forward. So as I said, it could be an ex. It could be someone that you are in a relationship with. Um, this could be also someone that's been holding back that wants, you know, commitment and success with you. What is this Knight of Wands here? So you've got an action taker here. What's the Knight of Wands? The Knight of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Wands. I thought there is someone coming in with a word to say about a gift or giving to you, something about giving. This is a slow mover, so I feel like Aries in the future, this person will come towards you. They want to work on something. It's a witch. So she's like wanting to work on a spell or something with you, like on a new beginning. Someone that's coming in giving you something. So this person's coming to give you something. Okay, they're going to make that decision to come forwards, and I feel like you're going to make to have you're going to have to make the judgment call in the end whether you do want to work together with this person. As I said, it could be someone from your past, this King of Wands. You could have been married to them. This could be a soulmate. This is someone that watches you, though. Okay. Someone that's been holding back. What is judgment for Aries? You have the Eight of Wands. So there is messages. There is action being taken. And the King of Wands. So that's that King of Wands. It could be someone from your past. This person's waking to the call. They're choosing you. Scorpio energy could be significant. 
they're very attracted to you, okay? They're getting this message ready, and I feel like in the future, you are going to hear from this person. Knight of Pentacles energy. You've got the King of Chalices, the Sun, and the World. So there was a completion of a cycle with you in this energy, Aries. This person could have involved a third party, but I feel like they want to come back, okay? They're wanting to come back. They're choosing you. They want to show you that they're reliable. I feel like they look at you as someone that's reliable also with the Knight of Pentacles coming out. Earth energy could be significant. This is someone that comes in and out of your life, okay? This is someone that I feel could be from the past, okay? There is this cycle being completed. They could live at a distance. This is a divine connection. This person holds a lot of love for you. As I said, they could have been married to you in the past. Water could be significant. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they hold all that love for you. They want to give the love to you, okay? They want to have um, family, happiness. Children could be a factor. They want to rebirth it. There's something about rebirth. So there is the past coming back, okay? For some, it could be somebody new, but I feel like it looks like the past here. But they want to come in with the truth, okay? This person loves you. You've got the Six of Cups coming out and the Eight of Pentacles, Aries. Let's see. What's the Six of Cups? You've got the Queen of Swords. So this is that past energy. Air could be significant. This is someone that holds those firm boundaries. They could have cut you out of their life. You've got the Nine of Swords. They want to come in with a message. They keep thinking about you. They keep thinking about the past. They could be looking at photos or something. They cannot sleep. This has got the Nine of Swords there. There's this feeling like having nightmares. What's the Eight of Pentacles? You have the devil. So I feel like there is some type of codependency between you and this energy. Capricorn could also be significant. As I said, this person may like being a bit of a devil, doing whatever they want, bad things. You've got the Three of Swords. So this person wants to move on from this heartbreak with you they could have hurt you and they're wanting to come back again so um everybody has free will aries whether you want this person in your life or not but they're they're mourning this ending okay they want to work on it again they want to show you that they are reliable you've got the three of pentacles so there's this you could be focused on the material world on creativity um, this person is sending you a message or a song or something, but they're wanting some type of rebirth. You know, they're mourning this and they want to work on it. So do expect to hear from this person again, Aries. I am going to leave it there, Aries. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Aries. I'm also doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.